One day, in 1915, Lucia saw a figure floating above the trees. The three other girls also saw the figure. We began to be aware of a bright light over the trees, whiter than snow, in the form of a young man. As he drew nearer, we could distinguish his features. Do not be afraid. I am the angel of peace. Pray with me. Kneeling on the ground, he bowed down until his forehead touched the earth. Led by a supernatural impulse, we did the same, and repeated the words which we heard him say. My God, my God, my God, I believe, I believe, I adore, I adore, I hope, I hope, and I love you. And I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe. I ask pardon. For those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, do not hope, and do not love you. Having repeated these words three times, he rose and said, Pray thus, the hearts of Jesus and Mary are attentive to the voice of your supplications. What are you doing? Pray. Pray very much. The hearts of Jesus and Mary have designs of mercy on you. Offer prayers and sacrifices constantly to the Most High. How are we to make sacrifices? Make of everything you can the sacrifice and offer it to God as an act of reparation for the sins of which he is offended and in supplication for the conversion of sinners. You will thus draw down peace upon your country. I am its angel guardian, the angel of Portugal. Above all, accept and bear with submission the suffering the Lord will send you After they had eaten their lunch and being more attentive to the words of the angel, the children found the place of the little hollow to pray again. They knelt down with their foreheads touching the ground and the children prayed the prayer the angel taught them. After they had repeated this prayer a few times, they saw the strange light shining over them. The angel appeared to us for the third time, holding a chalice in his hands, with a host above it, from which some drops of blood were falling into the sacred vessel. Leaving the chalice and the host suspended in the air, the angel prostrated on the ground and repeated this prayer three times. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference with which he himself is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of Paul. 
poor sinners. Then, rising, he once more took the chalice and the host in his hands. He gave the host to me, and to Jacinta and Francisco, he gave the contents of the chalice to drink, saying as he did so, Take and drink the body and blood of Jesus Christ, horribly outraged by ungrateful men. Repair their crimes and console your God. Once again, he prostrated on the ground and repeated with us three times more the same prayer. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. The angel prepared the little shepherds of Fatima by catechizing them in prayer and by adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. and therefore strengthened by the bread of angels and by sacrifices, they were made ready for one of the most important interventions heaven had made on earth since biblical times, the visitation of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the Queen of Heaven and of Portugal, the following year, 1517. 